Ahoy, curious! Are you adventurous? Are you not afraid of rough waves and a journey on board a ship across an endless sea of oceans? If so, that is great because today we will take you on a journey in the company of the most iconic pirate, Jack Sparrow himself. The hero of the Pirates of the Caribbean series, famous for his extravagant behavior, crazy personality, and original phrases, still millions of fans around the world love him. So what if we tell you that once lived a real pirate? pirate named Jack Sparrow and he became the inspiration for the Disney character. What do we know about him? Was its history as turbulent as the one we see in the movies? Hear me out on this story and learn many interesting facts about the blockbuster Pirates of the Caribbean and Johnny Depp himself. How did he manage to create such an iconic role? Will we see him in the sixth part of the series? Stay with us until the very end to find out all the answers to these questions and click on the subscription button now to turn on the notifications. Are you ready? Now hold on tight and off we go! He was bizarre, wild, and fearless, and with his crew, he terrorized ships sailing the seas in search of wealth and fame. His extraordinary adventures became the subject of legends and stories passed down from generation to generation. His name was Jack Ward, and his story was so crazy that some say he became the inspiration for the most famous film of the pirate Jack Sparrow. Why? Well, just listen. Its history begins in 1553 in Kent in southeast of London. This is where he was born and grew up. Up. And because of the town, Faversham, where he comes from, it was a famous haven for smugglers and pirates, and Jack Ward had a love of dangerous sea voyages from an early age. Life at sea made him so crazy that he fled his family home to become a corsair. Although at the beginning it was quite legal work, because at the time there was a war between England and Spain. Queen Elizabeth I herself ordered the plunder of the enemy's ships and gave licenses to all those who undertook it. The situation changed when King James I took to the throne and ended the war that had began going for 17 years or so, so the duties for the privateers were over, although many of them did not intend to give up their profitable occupation. And one of them was Jack, as he no longer had a license from the head of the state and he became a pirate. He found himself a large group of companions with whom he stole the ship from the port to start his barbaric expedition. He also gained a new nickname and as Jack Faversham or Jack Birdie and attacked merchant ships sailing in the Mediterranean Sea. To plunder as many of them as possible, he even made an agreement with one of the Muslim leaders. It was thanks to that that he was able to use the Tunisian port as a base and provided that he shared some of the loot. And over time, he succeeded in plundering truly priceless things and intercepting an astonishing number of ships. One of those greatest his spoils was the magnificent Venetian galley filled to the brim with silk, spices, and luxury goods straight from the Middle East. The authorities in Tunisia were so stunned by his actions that he received a plot to land those regions as a gift to the ruler from the Ottoman Empire himself. He had no intention of returning to his native England, where only death sentence would await him. So he settled in Tunisia, spent the rest of his life there, and converted to Islam. He was called Jack Asfer, which translates from Arabic as Sparrow, and that came from his overwhelming obsession with birds, as well as inspired the name Sparrow, which eventually also means Sparrow. <laughs> However, the inspiration for the film's hero does not end there. Jack Ward was also famous for his extravagant style of dress and behavior. He was quick-tempered and unprecedentable, and especially made new companions and was a great ship captain, although according to some sources, he also did not avoid high percentage drinks. While still alive, and he became a hero of ballads and theater plays, and eventually was also an inspiration for Hollywood filmmakers. Pirates of the Caribbean is based on his story and that the idea for Jack Sparrow and his extraordinary adventures in films about the Pirates of the Caribbean was born. The first part of the series, The Curse of the Black Pearl, hit theaters in 2003 and was a spectacular success. The budget of $140 million was paid back almost five times, so it was only a matter of time before shooting the next episodes. And in this way, a collection of hit productions was created that grossed a staggering $4.5 billion worldwide. It was the most popular and most profitable Disney movie series before the Marvel Universe. They made Jack Sparrow a cult hero, and playing this character by Johnny Depp was one of the best things that happened in his career. Particularly in financial terms, the success of the first part of the adventures of the extravagant pirate meant that he was able to demand a salary of $20 million in advance for each of the later films. Huge earnings over the time made him the best paid actor, and this category even had received a Guinness World Record in 2012. 
His salary for his performance in the fifth installment of the series, Salazar's Revenge, also went down in history. For this role, he received a substantial amount of $90 million, which in turn earned him the title of the most overpaid star. But you will probably admit that you cannot imagine the Pirates of the Caribbean without Johnny Depp, though his acquisition of this role was not so obvious. At the beginning, the candidates to play it were, among others, Hugh Jackman, Matthew McConaughey, Robert De Niro, and Jim Carrey. But everyone refused. The choice finally fell on Depp, and he created his own version of this character inspired by the Rolling Stones star, Keith Richards. Although, because he believed that the Pirates of the 18th century were counterparts of modern rock stars, and by the way, the famous Rolling Stones were cast in the third part of the Caribbeans as Jack's father. Apparently, at the very beginning, when the management of the label saw the actor Johnny, it caused a lot of confusion. Some believed that he portrayed Sparrow as a drunkard, and it even said that he almost lost the role because of it and feared he would ruin the film by doing so. Fortunately, his talent eventually trusted, and Depp proved once more again on the set that he was directly born to play Jack Sparrow. His signature mannerism, behavior, iconic sayings such as savvy were also created thanks to the fact that the actor was allowed to improvise more than once during the filming. The creation also created in his own unique way and it earned him an Oscar nomination for Best Leading Male Role and also appealed to millions of fans around the world. Many of them are eagerly awaiting his return in the sixth pirate adventure, though frankly speaking, it is very questionable now. Although the exact release date of the newest films is not yet known, it's already raising a lot of emotions. Some sources say that it may only be a reboot of previous parts. Among the unconfirmed rumors, it is also the news that the Pirates of the Caribbean will tell a story about the female heroine, and a candidate to play the main role would be Karen Gillian, known for example from the production of Jumanji The Next Level. But the basic question that fans are asking is, will we ever see Johnny Depp again on screen? Quite a lot has been going on around him recently. The Amber Heard divorce trial, the defamation case that he lost with the son, and the actor's resignation from the role of the wizard Grindelwald in the Fantastic Beasts series, and caused certain uncertainty as to whether the star would ever sail out on the water as Jack Sparrow again. Fortunately, there is a chance for now. Although we are unlikely to see him in the lead role, his performance may be limited only to a supporting character or a short episode. However, this is still anecdotal information. It is worth mentioning, however, that Depp is on the side of his longtime friend and producer of films about the Pirates of the Caribbean, Jerry Bruckheimer. He cannot imagine the newest part without an actor, as well as thousands of fans who created a petition in which demand the return of Johnny Depp as Captain of the Black Pearl. And currently, Disney does not reveal any details related to the new productions, so we will just have to wait for any new news. So curious, can you imagine the Pirates of the Caribbean without Johnny Depp? How do you like what he's created? And which part of the series of the adventures was your favorite? Have you heard about the history of Jack Ward before? Let us know in the comments as we're waiting for your feedback as always. And as always, don't forget to click on the subscription button and enable the notifications, and we will see you guys in the next video.